Waiting for orders. Okay, because there's only 50 damage that needs to be put into that one, let's move to here. You betcha. And we will put the 50 into that. No, not precision strike, multi strike. Uh huh. Did that kill both of them? Heyday! Oh, that one's still got a smidgen of health. That's annoying. Commander. Okay, still can't Location see that particular one there. So I only need... One laser. Roger that. Less structure. Okay, one turret generator left to Waiting go. So let's just attack it. I might as well use Fire the SRM, we've got plenty of ammo. One less structure. Now we can move on to the gate. So I think I'll come in from the right. Because if anything does appear in here, I am closer to both sides on this gate. Affirmative. Roger. On the move. Okay, I'm not going to use the SRMs anymore because they are... Locked on target. <laughs> that ammo does go down pretty quickly, actually. What's up, boss? Location confirmed. Coordinates received. And you can get to there to finish off, and then we'll be able to just take out the gates, hopefully. Target confirmed. There we go. Waiting for orders. Aye, aye. You can move to here. Copy that. And then we'll fire all of your lasers. I copy. Target destroyed. Order. And our heat should now be good, hopefully. I copy. Let's just get everyone we can. In close, ready to On go. And then next turn we'll move into the prison. Just in case something spawns. Got it. Got it. Okay, now, let's go. Let's sprint you up to here. I copy. Excellent work, Commander. The prison is ours. All directorate personnel to action stations. God damn it, this is not a drill. Looks like you've got more company. 
I'm seeing heat signatures coming online in the prison mech bay. The warden must have held a lance in reserve. Sit tight, Commander. Lady Arano is aware of the situation. Reinforcements are on the way. Okay, well, we... Need to get a move on then, don't we? So, let's get you sitting there. Let's get you... Sitting... There. And you just need to get in as close as you can, Medusa. Oh, there they are. Enemy contacts incoming. Excellent. Let's reserve because we do have four and five evasive pips, so that's probably the best situation. Yep, pretty good. Barely hit, Commander. And let's wait for the other one to come on in too. Oh, Jesus. Okay. There's a couple of quite large mechs there. Long range missiles, medium lasers, AC-10. AC-2525, medium laser. Gee whiz. Medium lasers, medium lasers. Okay, so we definitely want the Jaeger mech to go down. Standing by. Okay, Decker. I think we get... you coming in like this moving out so they'll have to move around that side of the building to get behind us so that's probably our best shot Let's actually Vigilance here, because you're probably going to be the one taking the damage next turn. Roger. That was pretty good. Pretty good. Couple of armor bars down. What do you need? Medusa, where can you get to? You can get to here. Same thing, turn our left side a little to them. Once again, fire everything we've got at got the it. Centurion. Okay, we crit the LRM-10, but didn't actually take anything down as of yet. What's up, boss? Hmm. Okay, not the greatest shots from where we are. So, I say we go over there and turn to the right. And hopefully Firing take that Centurion down. Well, left arm's down, that's something. Aye, 
I hear ya. I think I'm gonna have to do the same thing for you, Glitch. Got it. Let's get that Centurion. Commencing Alpha Strike! There we go. One down. Three to go. Oh. Oh, damn. He's in behind. Oh. That was quite a few hits into your left side. Not great. What's up, boss? Decker. Who do we want to go down first? Probably these guys, realistically. He's going on number two, so if I can get... Heading out. Yep, use the building to protect my back, hopefully. Once again, I'm going to Vigilance and fire everything we've got into the Jaeger mech. Acknowledged. There we go. Uh-oh. Oh, Jesus, they're all attacking Glitch. That's... On the armor, buddy. Scary. Okay, put one into the Shadow Hawk. I'm showing minor damage. Good to go. Oh, Glitch has taken a pounding. Standing by. Um. Commander. I think because of we that we get you to get your brace on now. So attack that Jaeger mech with everything you've got. Firing everything I've got. Awesome. Same for you, Medusa. Yes, Commander. Commander. Fortunately, the large laser missed, which ain't great. Ready for orders. Now, on you. Oh, we need very minimal damage to do some crazy hits here. Okay, so we go this way. But, I could also take down the Jaeger mech. Oh my god. Um, and that would cause... The problem is, I would need to move here. That's probably acceptable though, because that blocks that. 70, 65. 75, 75, 75. Oh, that's better actually, 85, 85, 85. Ugh. I think I'm gonna have to go there though. Okay, let's fire everything we've got into that Jaeger mech. Acknowledged. Let's get this done. Left torso destroyed, left arm destroyed, head hit, pilot injured. 
Hmm. Didn't die though, unfortunately. Well, that was definitely good that we uh, braced the Shadow Hawk or entrenched it. Sorry. Ah, Camilla's here. I don't think we really need your help, Camilla, but that's okay. Yes, Commander. Sure, in you come. Uh, now. I'm thinking we attempt to... Take out as much of this, this mech as we can. I copy. And attempt to kill the mech. Yeah, there we go. Pilot incapacitated. That's what we want. So now we may be able to actually grab that Jaeger mech. That would be cool. That's fine. We're entrenched, so not much damage is going to go into him. Ready for orders. Let's see. What do we want to do? You've got Bulwark, so maybe I just smash. Although the Jenna can get behind you from there. And he is on turn four. Yes, I'll see where he moves. So let's just take out the Jenna. Target. Or attempt to, anyway. Did she? Oh, oh. I was thinking that was the enemy. No, she hit the trebuchet. Oh, God, that's not good. Oh man, okay. I should have known that was going to happen. Internal damage. Okay, we got a hit from behind. Good to go. So you definitely need to jump out of there. Copy that. And now let's get rid of that Jenna. So it can't have its next turn. Oh, not quite. I think I hit something good. That's unfortunate. Good to go. You should be able to take it out though. Unless There's... Ah, there we go. Let's do that. Got it. He was too close. Way too close. Now he's not. He's down. Center torso destroyed. destroyed. Okay, let's see what you can do, Kamiya. You got a head hit, awesome. That should injure the pilot. Oh shit, don't move back behind me, please. Oh god. Oh, phew. Okay, <laughs> that was scary. To say the least. Minor damage, Commander. Stand 
Standing by. Okay, you can't really do anything from there. Let's get you... Whoops. To move this way. I'll get you to smash him from the right hand side. Hopefully take out an arm and a leg. Right torso, right arm destroyed. Awesome. Pilot injured. There can't be that many more injuries, can Good there? Okay, let's do that. And I will preci precision strike it. Let's attempt to get the leg. With both. Giving him everything I've got. Okay, you hit an arm and a leg. <laughs> Not quite. What I needed there. Oh, he's out of your range. That's unfortunate. Moving to position. Okay, let's go for the arm and leg again. It still didn't take him down. Okay. Receiving you. Movement is probably better, actually. I should probably go here. So that I'm more likely to hit aye, aye. side. Yeah! Awesome. Pilot incapacitated. The prison is ours. Thanks for the assist, Lady Runner. I have Samaya bring us down for the celebration of victory. There'll be no celebrating. Not after what I saw out there. God, Starius. The things the Directorate has done to these people. Kamiya, I need you to meet me in the prison hospital right now. What is it? Better that you see for yourself. And Kamiya, prepare yourself. This isn't going to be easy. Mission successful. Okay. A nice payoff. That's that's gonna skyrocket our funds. Whew. Awesome. A little bit of damage on the center torso of our Vindicator. And a little bit of damage on Glitch, but other than that, we're good. Okay, now. We can get the Jaeger mech. Let's do it. Two, three. We've got our first 65 tonner. Now, let's also attempt for the trebuchet. Hopefully get those other two pieces. That would be nice. Get 16. Oh, we didn't get any of the trebuchet pieces. Bugger. Oh well, we've got a Jaeger mech, so that's cool.
By the time our forces found him, it was too late. I'm sorry, Kamea. He was... here. All this time. Rashu. Raju survived? Jesus Christ. It's shitty we weren't able to save him then. The Arano Restoration, the Icebox Weldry. Kamiya, I'm so sorry. I know how much Mastiff meant to you. He was a friend and a mentor to us both. He was more than that. The old man was like a second father to me. And my uncle condemned him to waste away on this rock. To die wretched and broken in agony. A hero's story should not end like this. Nobody should. And yet, so many have. There's no coming back from what I've witnessed here today. The scale of the Directorate's cruelty is unimaginable. What they've done here is monstrous. It's inhuman. Our intel was wrong, Alexander. The icebox, icebox isn't a prison. It's a meat grinder. Gods, my own family is behind this. And what's left of mine has chosen to look the other way. It isn't an easy thing to wrap your head around, but try to remain focused. We've just liberated the Directorate's hostages. With a single blow, you've shattered your uncle's hold on the founding houses. The prisoners you've set free are already calling you the Sword of Restoration. We need to spread this message all the way to Cormadir to galvanize your supporters and weaken Espinosa's popularity there. He stole- Espinosa stole a throne at gunpoint. How much popularity could he have? More than you'd expect. Remember that Espinosa's first priority was the centralization of power. That meant a tremendous growth in resources and infrastructure on the throne world. The citizens of Cormodir enjoy fewer personal freedoms than they once did, but their lives have improved greatly in a material sense, and people will forgive a great deal for security and comfort. With our victory on Weldry, we've all seen what happened to those who would not be brought, bought or indoctrinated. Those who refused to kneel before a tyrant. We know what became of the people who were made to disappear. And soon enough, the entire Reach will know, know it too. The momentum is on our side, Camille. We need to take advantage of it. You're right. This isn't the time for hand-wringing. But Alexander, you didn't see what I saw out there. On the other end of the battlefield. The work crews, all hunched and broken. The graveyards. Great fields of unmarked burial plots that stretched as far as the eye could see. Every time I blink, I see it. The misery that was allowed to fester here. Um, if I hadn't left the Oregon military to join Raju, I'd have wound up in the Directorate Army. I'd be complicit to this, in this. Every Directorate mech warrior is, but it isn't their fault. Not truly. Before my uncle's coup, the Oregon Reach was better than this. This place is going to stay with these people for the rest of their lives. I'll do anything to be able to spare them that hurt, but I can't. Word of advice from an old veteran, Lady Rano. Focus on something you can do. Give us an order. Tell us to blow something up. Shit, use your imagination. The key is, you do something and you move on. Thank you, Chief Vertinen. You have a good crew. Serious Sam. I have a new assignment for you and a reward for your service. The Argo appears on your view screen. She's in rough shape, but she appears to be space worthy. For decades, the wreck site of the Argo was one of my father's most closely held secrets. When I sent you to retrieve her, I meant for her to serve as a symbolic purpose, a sign of rebirth and renewal, emblazoned with the Arano com Cormorant for all to see. I was na naive. This is a time for action, not symbols. And so, Sirius Sam, I've decided that she will be yours to command. The Argo will serve as your new home, and she will fly your mercenary banner. 
Lord Madeira will join you to act as my liaison. And in return, you will grow stronger, sharper, more flexible. You will hone your company to a razor's edge, one that I will hold to the Directorate's throat. Guess I've got a new ship. Here's to hoping she doesn't fall apart on me. <laughs> I'm betting my life that she won't. Now please, Camille, go back to the triage tent and get these wounded wounds looked at. The conditions here are beyond unsanitary, and you'll be of no use to anyone if you're dying of tetanus. Our soldiers can tend to the wounded. We need you strong for the fight ahead. I will, Alexander, but not just yet. Assemble our people in the courtyard. There's something I need to say. People of the Oregon Reach, I am Kamea Arano. And I have failed you. For three long years, Director Espinosa has imprisoned and starved and murdered our people. And where was I? Hiding in a palace, light years away, building support, planning, while the Directorate's secret police turned neighbor against neighbor, made your loved ones disappear, conscripted your children. I wasn't here. I didn't know. The crimes that I have witnessed here today are unforgivable. No doubt, Director Espinosa believes that the ends justify the means, that the Oregon Reach has been made strong. Well, I say that strength built on fear is brittle. The Directorate is a paper tiger, and I declare this restoration today to rally the true strength of our people, our resilience, and our freedom. Let Weldry be a call to arms. Join us, and together we will liberate the Founding Houses and retake Cormadir. Not because it is my birthright, but because the Directorate's crimes against you, the Oregon people, will no longer be tolerated. That is what I fight for, and I vow to fight for your freedoms to my dying breath. Cool. That was a pretty good speech, actually. Have ship, will travel. <laughs> Hello again, my mercenary friends. Before you officially take possession of the Argo, I wanted to introduce myself in person. We never really got a chance to meet properly on Axelus. So, uh, hi. I'm Dr. Farah Murad. Or just Farah. If you prefer. It's nice to meet you all face to face. Yeah, Doc, you too. I'm going to call you Doc, by the way. You should probably go ahead and get used to it. It was impressive work you did, getting the Argo flying. Between you and me, I had my doubts. Honestly, I did too. You should have seen what the Argo's interior looked like after a couple hundred years of pirate occupation. Actually, I take that back. If you'd seen what I saw, you would never have wanted to set foot inside. Take it from me. The ship has been deloused from bow to stern and every meter of her has been hosed down with industrial grade disinfectant. The ship is clean enough to eat off, I swear it. Respectfully, Dr. Murad, I couldn't care less how clean the ship is. I lost a friend today. Yes, Commander, I'm sorry. Both for the flippancy of my tone and for what happened to your friend. I guess I'm just excited. It isn't every day that you get to introduce your, introduce your new crewmates to the ship you just rebuilt. New crew, new crewmates? Do you know something we don't? Did Lady Arano not say? I'm coming with you. You'll need me if anything goes wrong with the ship. Not that it will, mind you, but you know, just in case. Oh, and Darius? I'm sorry about all the shouting back on the Axelus. As it turns out, getting shot at by pirates puts me on edge. No hard feelings. None at all. Keep this beast flying, and you can yell at me as much as you want. Hell, I'm used to it. Welcome to the family. 
You too, Lord Madeira. I never imagined we'd be working together, but I'm glad to have the opportunity. As am I, Mr. Oliviera. Oliviera, over the years of our exile, Lady Arano told me a great deal about you and your company, all of it good. Even before the events of the coup, she knew about Markham's marauders. Your assistance in her father's Vajalda campaign did not go unnoticed. It was a job, Lord Madeira. We only did what High Lord Tamati paid us to do. Still, it feels good to be appreciated and to know that someone out there still remembers Commander Markham's name. You'll be a welcome addition aboard the Argo, Lady uh, Lord Madeira. Thank you, Commander Sir. Speaking of which, you'll have some time to break your new ship in before Lady Arano is ready to move on Panz Panzir. She needs to consolidate her forces on Weldry and replace our losses with fresh volunteers. You remember her orders. You are to sharpen your company and grow strong. And now that you have a mobile command center worthy of the title, I suggest that you use it. I'll get you a fresh, fresh batch of contracts to look over, Sam. The whole Rimworld periphery is our oyster now. We won't be limited, limited by debts or travel restrictions. Exciting times, I've got to say. You're telling me we've been cooped up in that one little patch of frontier for too damn long. We'd better put that freedom to good use. It won't be long before Radio Lady Orano comes calling. Um, which one do we say? Cooped up for too long. You said it, boss, so let's quit talking and go explore our new ship. There's an absolutely enormous mech bay in there, and I've it's got my name written all over it. Damn right it does, Yang. You all heard him. Take your stations, everyone. We're free agents until Lady Arano calls for us, and there's money to be made. Okay, the Argo is not in good shape, Commander, but with time, money, and some of Chief Vertinen's technical resources, we can address most of the major problems. Maybe even make this place nice again. I'll be in engineering if you want to know more. Lady Arano said she wanted us to get stronger with these mech facilities. We finally have the resources to do that. Bring me scrapped mechs from missions and shops and I'll, I'll rebuild them into fighting machines. And remember boss, when it comes to mechs, bigger is usually better. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. Okay, the Jaeger Mech S model is highly specialized at long range auto cannon fire support. It doesn't have much in the way of protection or closer range weapons though, so keep it distance and out of harm's way. Okay, let's get rid of the fire starter, I think, for now. Or... Do we get rid of the blackjack? No, I think we get rid of the fire starter. It wasn't that crazy helpful. It was fun, but it wasn't that crazy good. Okay, I think we're going to end this here, guys. It's been quite a while. Uh, in the next episode I will jump in and get this Jaeger mech up and running. But we'll do that next time. So I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you all in the future. Bye!